Hey everyone. Um, today I'm gonna uh, what we're gonna do is I'm gonna build a little stand for the uh, protein skimmer. Uh, my last video I was telling you about was this protein skimmer. Is I don't know what's going on with it, but it was just giving out too much bubbles. So as, as you get closer in, you can see it's still it's still um, giving me too much bubbles. All right. So I have the water at uh, seven seven inches. I had it down to six inches and it was still creating all these bubbles that I cannot get rid of. I don't know um, what's going on with this protein skimmer. Um, the guys at the, at, the, at the store was telling me to raise it. Um, I'm probably going to have to raise it up and see if that's going to work or not. So what I'm going to do today is going to make a little stand um, to raise the protein skimmer up. Uh, the the protein, uh, the stand that they sell, I think it's like forty or fifty dollars um, for an acrylic stand. That's just a box that the skimmer sits on, and they have it at the store. And it's just a stand. I don't know why it has to cost so much. So I'm gonna today. I'm gonna make a, my own stand. What I did is I bought a uh, a cutting board, All right? Just a cutting board. Um, and then, and I, but with little legs, I made the, these are, I think, one inch um, little caps. So I'm going to put on the bottom of the stand, like this. Okay, and I'm going to cut it to size of my stump. And then um, we'll, we'll raise it up and see if that's going to help it, if any. Okay, so uh, let's get started. Uh, first, we're going to, um, I'm going to measure the, the my box, which is um, I, th I think it's twelve, right? So yeah, the inside measurement is twelve inches depth, and the width is about eleven and a half. So it's about twelve inches by eleven and a half inches. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna to make this board um, close to that. I don't wanna make it 12 by 11. I don't want it to, um, to be perfectly sized so that when I put it down, it, it uh, won't fit. I wanna at least have some gap in there so that the water can circulate um, underneath of it too. So, all right, so we're gonna um, cut a piece off of this board that's uh, I could probably go by, you know, 11 by 9 or 11 by 10, and it'll still probably fit. Okay. All right. So let's get started. First, I'm gonna have to uh, use a a saw. I'm gonna cut this board, and then um, and then we'll go on from there. Okay. Let's check off. Okay, I'm back. Um, okay, so I did the measurement off of uh, this board. I'm gonna do it um, by 11 by 11. Yeah, 11 by 11, okay? So I squared it off, squared it off, and then measured it, all right? Okay, now Ethan's gonna come and help me hold the board while I'm gonna try to cut it. Okay, okay and come on this side over here. So I'm just using a, a jigsaw. Okay, so just have some. So what I'm doing is I'm just running along this this board here. No.
All right, I'm back. Um, so after we cut it, we're gonna sand out the, uh, the rough edges here. All right, and it's really not, not anything rough, it's just that I just wanna smooth it out. to the bottom because if you don't you have all this water pushing up on it um, it might it might not go down so I'm just gonna put little holes in and then um, then glue the legs on okay okay so now after I uh, sanded the uh, sanded the board down what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna put holes into this uh, plate so it can be pushed down to the bottom uh, of the uh, of the sump. Now, you know, there's no nothing in particular pattern or anything like that. I'm just going to do it randomly, just drill holes into it. too many you know as long as it has enough room to water to flow through and sink it to the bottom I think it will work okay all right so now I'm gonna go ahead and, and turn off the protein skimmer all right now all I gotta do is glue this onto the bottom of the of the plate. Remember what we were talking about? All right, I just do four legs. I think almost anywhere, so it so it balances. I think it'd be okay. I'll use some PVC glue. So we'll just let that dry for a little bit. And then in the meantime, I'll take the, the um, protein skimmer out and just make sure it fits on the bottom of this board. Okay, all right. All right, everyone, I'm back. So, okay, so I uh, went ahead and um, made holes in, in, the, uh, in the board. So that way, when you push it down in the water, the, the water can go go through and hopefully you'll sink to the bottom. Um, I did forget the first time to drill holes inside these caps because when you put them in the water, you know, uh, it will create a bubble in there and it'll keep it afloat. So I drill holes inside the, the caps so the water can go through. Okay, let's go ahead and put this in. Let's see how it works. Hopefully it's, uh, 
there'll be enough weight from from the weight of the uh, skimmer to keep, to push it down. up with water. Mm, I don't know. I don't know if it's gonna hold or not. Oh it's hitting this thing. I was like, what is it hitting? Oh there's a this thing, everybody. Okay. Alright so it did push it up to about um, two inches from the bottom. If you go all the way down here, you can see the bottom of it. All right. You know, if I want it higher, I can glue more pieces onto it. So, so now that the water, you can see here. Now the, I just gotta make sure that there's enough water in there to. Um, the pump is under the water. So that's so right now there's seven inches of water in here. And if I look down underneath, it's just above the the pump. Alright. So let's turn on and see how it works. If that did the trick or not. Close it all the way first. Okay, I have it close all the way. Still, still pushing a lot of bubbles out. I don't know what's going on with this thing. Mm. It's slow down, but still. run for a little while but um, I just wanted you guys to see to see the uh, the uh, the little platform I made for the um, for the protein skimmer so um, this one way to do it for cheap um, each one of those one inch caps were a dollar I think like a dollar 25 each so that's five dollars, and then, and then the cutting board was um, six dollars and change, so seven dollars. So seven and five is twelve dollars. So you can make a little platform for your protein skimmer for fifteen dollars instead of buying a forty dollar, you know, those acrylic boxes, even though they look pretty. But I think this is just do just a job. 
good of a job if you want to raise up your your protein skimmer. All right, so I'm gonna let this run and see if it does anything um, different than what I was uh, experiencing. Uh, for right now, it's still looking like it's putting out too much bubbles, but um, I'm gonna let it run for a day and see and do some adjustment and see if I can get it to work. Okay, everybody, thank you for watching. We'll see you next time. Um, I'll let you know how how the protein skimmer is doing with uh, about two inches less water in in the uh, in the sump after I raised it. All right, hope you like it. We'll see you next time.